Hello YouTubers, this is Anthony Mwambazi from Antec Technical Services, PTY Limited, uh, coming back to you with our short series videos. Uh, it's been a while since we've posted a video, so we still continue to do installations. I uh, just wanted to show you um, one of our installations with a unique different battery that we've never really installed, but we have installed. It is compatible with Lux Power, and we are here in Windsor West. We have just um, finished installing and commissioning a Lux Power SNA 5000 with a Freedom One battery, and uh, it is a 5.12 battery. The nameplate is quite hidden on 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 the other side, and. It communicates with the pylon tech battery type on the on, 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 on the Lux power and uh, dip switch one comes already pre-selected as on uh, as a mode of the CAN bus communication and we are using a 125 amp 160 amp fuse holder with 125 amp fuses and 35 millimeter cable that come with the battery and we have um, and it comes with a ready-made uh, bracket from Energenic. Um, they install generators, but they also do Freedom One, lots of them. So they actually make the frames for it to sit wall mount. And um, I just wanted to go through the steps with you. So up there, we have a six panel, 550 watt panel on the roof. Coming down into our protection box and I just wanted to show you what we've got in our protection box there so we have our positive and negative PV fuses coming in we have our surge arrestor from the rooftop for, 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 on, on the DV and we also have our 32 amp DC breaker for isolation purposes if ever we're doing maintenance work and then we have our AC protection box here so we have our mains coming in on the AC protection box. We have a pilot lamp that's just showing that ESCOM is available. And we have our surge arrestor, SPD, we have our changeover switch, and then we have our pilot lamp for the inverter output. We have a 25 amp breaker in and a 20 out, and then our relay unit because the client insisted he wanted a relay so usually we uh, permanently bond our relays um, these days we rarely use that but the client insisted that he wanted a bridge relay so we had to have that installed for him as well and other than that we have a straight cable here as well so the Lux power uses a straight cable if you notice at the bottom there's a blue dip switches there. These are the new Lux powers and the serial numbers in these versions um, use a straight cable. You don't need to make a cable for the Lux power. And it's plugged in on the front uh, port. That's where you plug in your straight cable down to the battery on your can and we can have a look what's happening here currently um, we have smiley there the batteries are sitting at 99 percent have nice hectic voltages at 242 from the panels and currently the house is only drawing about two percent of the load which if you wait on the usp and ups enable it gives you two to three percent gives you about 50 to 100 watts worth of draw. As it jumps up to 38%, that could be a fridge kicking in, kicking out at that level. Um, well, YouTubers, it's always exciting just to share information on our installations. And um, hope you enjoy this video and hope it helps somebody who's been struggling with the Freedom One connection to the Lux Power. Well, that's how you connect it. Well, YouTubers, it's Anthony Mwambazi from Antic Technical Services. You can catch me on 082-3427-946. 082-3427-946. It's Anthony Mwambazi signing out. Enjoy.